Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Canadian Lounge Black Girl. My name is Corrine and today I'm going to do a part two of my Disneyland vacation haul and then kind of some bits and things that I've purchased since I've been back. So uh, let's get into it. So um, at Disneyland we had gotten the Haunted Mansion stretching room portrait pillow right there and we got this we looked all over Disney California Adventure and Disneyland they were sold out we did get it at the uh, Disney home store in uh, downtown Disney and then it's the back part of the wallpaper so this one was $39.99 um, the outlet store in the Citadel outlets, uh, the Disney store we got, did pick up this um, Holiday Lodge Disney Christmas picture. There. Uh, it does light up. Unfortunately, I gotta get batteries in there. So we did uh, pick this one up. It was on clearance. So I want to say we got it maybe around eight nine dollars. It was a good deal. What else did we get? Um, then this one we did get from, I believe it was Target, no, the Spellatrix the Strange, the Pop Pin. I already have um, Voldemort, so now I have this one to add to the collection. And I'm not sure how much that guy goes. Um, and then that one. this one uh, we picked up at the Pin Trader store in downtown Disney and it's the Haunted Mansion pin this one was a limited release this one was $34.99 There. I was excited to get this one. I thought uh, they would be all sold out by the time we got down there. So, really excited to get this pin. And we also picked up the Indiana Jones Adventure pin. Indiana Jones does move up and down between the two snakes and the rolling ball, which of course never works. The rolling ball on the ride. And this one was twelve ninety nine um, from the twenty twenty two Galactic Convention exclusive lounge fly pin. Um, everyone's favorite, right? Jar Jar Binks. There you go. This was $9.90. And I'm not sure where we picked this one up from. May have been when we were at the Funko store. And we also got Mace Windu. Mm -hmm. Same. He was $9.90. Um, my husband picked up a few things for me when we were at Universal Studios, and one of them is the Chocolate Frog, and it comes with a wizarding card. I haven't opened it yet. There it is. I didn't find really anything I really wanted from Universal when we went. Um, so yeah, I didn't pick anything up from there. But then he's got me a sugar quill lollipop. And that was $4.95. And the dark mark lollipop as well for $3.95. Okay. 
anything else from Disneyland? No. I believe that was it from our trip. Nope. So I'm holding it. Um, one of the Walmarts, I believe, may have been in Utah. I did find the Stitch um, Cosmetic Brush, um, brush Set, a uh, limited edition from Wet n Wild. And also from the same collection, I got the Oh, sponge. If you can tell, their stitch is in the sponge there. And a little surfboard holder for your makeup sponge. It's really cute. Oh, so, um, from being home, we did go into the Lego store. I tried finding this um, when we were down there. We were down there August 1st and 2nd in Disneyland, and this was sold out. I didn't think I was going to be able to get it, but we have a Lego store here at uh, our Chinook Mall, and I was able to get the Haunted Mansion little Lego set. Um, I believe this one here in Canadian was $54.99, and there's the back there. So this is the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, which I love it. So I got that. And, uh, and then let's do Spirit of Halloween. I got a few things already set up, but I will show these things. I did get from Spirit of Halloween the Haunted Mansion uh, tray there, buggy. There's Leota's tombstone. So this is kind of cute. I just need to get a plate holder that is strong enough to hold it. The one I did get was um, not strong enough, so it kept uh, collapsing on me. So um, if you've seen my Haunted Mansion collection video, it's just a small part of my collection that I have set up. Um, I was trying to put this there, but i got to get a stronger plate holder. And then I also got, and I'm not sure where we're going to hang this, but the Grim Grinning Post here from Spirit of Halloween for $24.99. It's got the Haunted Mansion there, just like a newspaper clipping, and Leota, the Hitchhiking Ghosts. So that was cool. Just got to find a spot to put that guy. Um... And then uh, Charmed Aroma, we have one uh, store here just outside of Calgary in our uh, Cross Iron Mills Mall. And uh, they had a sale. And I did pick up the Disney Marie candle. It smells really nice. Nice, uh, sweet scent. Um, this one has got a necklace in there, but it's been really hot, except for today. So I haven't um, lit any candles yet, so once it gets cool, which is going to be for a while because we're going back into the 30s uh, next week, I will burn that and then I'll let you know what, uh, what I get in there. Before I went on vacation, a um, girlfriend of mine had gotten um, this cute little Winnie the Pooh bag. And it's a multi-function bag. It's got his little bee, a little honey, his little paws. So it can be, you can hold it like this with just a little handle. It's got a chain. Oops. Um, Crossbody strap, which is a cute little chain there. It can also be a wristlet. Or you can loop it through your your belt. So that's really cute. I really liked it. Just quite thoughtful. I think I might take this one with me when we go to Vegas in February. So there we go. Cute little Winnie the Pooh bag. 
and she spoils me. So my birthday's next month, and she's already got me part of my gift, and she got me this cute little grumpy, very soft mini backpack bag. It's got a little front pocket here, one big pocket in the back. And just a uh, blue interior. It's got like a front little pocket in the front here. You put something in there. And that noise you hear, uh, my husband put my little keychain on there for me already. And this is my Loungefly keychain I got a couple months ago. Oops. Little carriers. Go. And it's got blue straps. Nice and is really soft. I really love this. So quite excited after spooky season I got too many bags to wear for spooky season right now is uh, Dr. Facilier I'm using and then I have my ghost mini to wear I have my vampire stitch and I have a Mickey pumpkin all over print bag also to wear for spooky season um anything else up here then let's see I went into GameStop and I got this Loungefly Harry Potter wallet there it goes with the the bigger Loungefly bag that has the three front zip pockets there's Hagrid and Dumbledore Ron Hermione Harry there. on the back is the school crescent Harry Potter Lounge Fly placard there. The inside is just the Harry Potter emblem all over. You know, plot, spot for your ID and some card holders and that there. So this wallet was regular $44.99 on sale with the Edge Platinum price, which we have in Canada. I know it's, I think, points card in the States. Um, $15.28. So, that was a deal I couldn't pass up. So, I got that. And then, unfortunately, there's, um, we have a Funko Pop store. Not by Funko, but, um, by Comic Traders, uh, here in Calgary and he is cl was closing his Funko Pop store and I think he's combining the comic book store with it um, so he was blowing a whole bunch of stuff out for 50% off so I did get this crossbody Darth Vader lounge fly bag it's really shiny Cute. And that's the back with the Star Wars launch fly placard there. And I'm going to try to open this up and show you the inside if I could. Hold on one sec. Pause. Okay, that involved some teeth. Alright, I have not even opened up this bag yet. And it's the first launch fly I've had that didn't have a whole ton of paper in it. So the inside is just, uh, it's all black and just says Star Wars all over. Uh, one interior and zipper pocket on the back here and on the front it has one open pocket, which is quite neat. And I lied, it's not a cross pocket bag. It's just a little handbag, but hey, this was um, regular $50 with half price. I paid $25 Canadian for that, so that was a really good deal. I couldn't pass up, and like, look at that. It's got little feet on the bottom. I couldn't pass that up, so I love it. And it's my first one I've had that came with a little duster bag. So Star Wars Lounge Fly on there. 
some place to keep it when I'm not using it. And I think that is it. I think I remembered everything this time. Yes. So, uh, stay tuned. Um, gonna try to hit Hot Topic tomorrow. They just had a whole bunch up here in Calgary. A bunch of Halloween released. And a bunch of the Halloween lounge fly bags came in. Uh, one of them posted the Zero lounge fly bag and stitch. So, I'm hoping to make it there tomorrow. I'll make a video and I'll post that up as soon as I get it done. Um, so, thank you for watching. If you like this and you like to see what's happening in and around, um, Calgary for lounge flies or um, her universe Daniel Nicole um, stay tuned I try to hit the stores every week as much as I can we are hitting Vegas in February so there'll be videos for that coming out as well oh and I also forgot I got these earrings at Knott's Berry Farm um, from a lady that makes jewelry down there and they are the Jack Skellington earrings for ten dollars it's really cute so yeah supported a local artist down there I'm glad Knott's Berry Farm does stuff like that for them and thanks for watching have a good day bye